All right, this problem wants us to write the sine of 3x in terms of just sine of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the, all the different double angle and composite argument formulas, and I'm going to keep breaking this down until I only have sine of x as, as my values or my variables. So first of all, I'm going to write the sine of 3x as the sine of 2x plus 1x. And I'm going to use that one formula that says the sine of a plus b, which is what I have here now, a and b, is equal to the sine of a, which is, in my case, 2x, times the cosine of b, plus the cosine of a times the sine of b. All right, so now I can see that that's in good shape right there, but I need to convert this one right here, and I need to convert this one right here, and hopefully, I don't know how to convert that one, but I'm I'm taking a guess that I'll somehow get that to be like cosine squared or something. So that's my hopes. So let's do this. The sine of two x. Now I'm using the the double argument formula is equal to oh look at this two sine of x cosine of x, that's what that equal right there, which I can see now because I'm going to multiply that by, change back to red, cosine of x plus, remember I've got that sine of x sitting over here, and now I'm going to substitute in for the cosine of x, or cosine 2x, I'm going to use my double formula, or my double angle formula, and I'm going to look for something only in terms of sine x which is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And now I can see what's going to happen here because this right here, let me change that color, this right here is just cosine squared, so that's going to turn into, remember what cosine squared is, it's 1 minus sine squared of x and then the rest of this stuff is just going to stay how it is because it's already in terms of sine x plus this right here. I can go ahead and distribute that in because it's all cleaned up. Well, I'll just write ditto marks and then because I'm going to need this entire line here, I'm afraid. So let's distribute this in. So I have 2 sine x minus 2 sine cubed x I'm now going to distribute this in, plus sine x minus 2 sine cubed x. And now let's add like terms. That's 3 sine x, and that's minus 4 sine cubed x. So there's my formula. So a new formula that you can now say is anytime you see sine sine of 3x, you can say that it is equal to 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. That's a new identity that you've created. Name it and claim it if no one else in the world has ever named that one, which I'm sure they have.